ये च बुद्धा ये च बुद्धा नागत द गोज ऑफ द वाघोरा रिवर इन द सयाद्री हिल्स इज एन एनचांटेड प्लेस हियर टू स्ट्रीम्स मेट वन ऑफ द सोफिस्टिकेटेड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द आर्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग even at this early date in india the other filled with the compassionate philosophy of the buddha these streams came together to create a body of painting which has inspired the art of a whole continent The 31 caves here were created in a magnificent endeavor which was spread out over two phases the first around the 2nd century BC and the other in the 5th and 6th centuries AD In the 3rd century BC the great Buddhist emperor Ashok sent a religious emissary to Maharashtra perhaps taking inspiration from what ashok had attempted in the barabar caves in bihar buddhist monks began to create monasteries and prayer halls in the sahyadri hills of western india as many as 800 rock cut caves were made in western india thus was created a great and enduring tribute to the buddha and his path Of all the inspired monuments created by Buddhist monks, the most eloquent was at Ajanta. Here, with hammer and chisel, with paint and brush, the followers of the Buddha created a great monument. Its inscriptions proclaim that it was meant to last forever. Here, in the Chaitya Cave Ten, there is a sense of awe as one looks at these paintings. The paintings in this cave of the 2nd century BC are the oldest surviving paintings of the historical period in India. The headdresses, ornaments and clothes worn by the figures are very similar to those seen in sculptures of this time at Bharut and Sanchi. The next great cave to be created at Ajanta was cave 17. The walls of this cave are covered with many Jatak stories such as the Vishvantara Jatak you see here. It is the old manner that stories are told to pass on knowledge. The message of the Buddha is enshrined in the happenings of his life and in the stories of his previous births. in the form of different men and animals in his previous births he is called a bodhisattva a being who is on the path towards enlightenment the kapi jatak lord buddha is born as a bodhisattva monkey he had saved the life of a hunter who had fallen into a pit Later as the monkey sleeps the man tries to kill him for he is hungry The bodhisattva monkey wakes up in time and is scolding the man for being so selfish as to want to kill the very creature who had saved his life In cave 1 is one of the masterpieces of Ajanta The Padmapani the bearer of the lotus he brings to us the peace of the spirit over his left shoulder are these playful monkeys above his right shoulder we see a joyous celestial musician this kinnar amid all this activity the bodhisattva responds to a deep harmony he looks within The inheritance of the tradition which was received by the painters of Ajanta has been documented as the Chitra Sutra of the Vishnu Dharmotra Puran. This was a verbal tradition 
which would have come over many centuries, passed on through guilds of painters and from father to son. It was penned on paper by perhaps the 5th or 6th centuries AD, at the time of the second phase of the great paintings at Ajanta. This ancient treatise places a sophisticated grammar in the hands of the painter. Foreshortening, the rules of perspective, three different ways to carry out shading, and literally hundreds of details on how to paint are placed before the artist. He is given a framework of suggestions on how to depict different kinds of people. Grammar does not make style. So what these people are doing is that they are internalizing. I think a great many of them knew what the rules were all about, but had the ability and the freedom to go beyond them. The concern of the artist, however, was not to depict the photographic reality around. His philosophy told him that the material world around him was a veil. One had to lift that veil and look beyond. So we come across in his work nuances and the feel of the sense of the tangible world. Indeed, we see the beauty of form, the volume and weight, and yet always rising upwards towards something which is more and beyond. It was a great moment in history when the artist had a blossoming tradition of Indian art and the breath of inspiration in him. These humble painters had a great vision, a vision of humanity and compassion, which moves us and completely enthralls us till today.